Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your old pal Kate Joel on my free comic book day 2017 road trip. It's pretty early in the morning right now. For me, I don't have a local comic shop nearby. I have to commute like two towns over. But we're going to hit a couple stores today. We got GNU Books. We got Worlds Collide, which I went to last year. I got my friend Devin, who was nice enough to drive and will be working camera for me today. He's actually worked a couple camera jobs for me. Uh, was it in Fan Expo and a couple other places? So we're going to have a good day, even if it is a gray, rainy, kind of crappy day in Canada right now. But you know what? That's fine because we have the power of free comic books books to charge us and lift our spirits so you know more on that in a minute So we hit up GNU book first, of course, had to grab my Secret Empire, had to grab my Rick and Morty. Uh, a lot of the actual big events of Secret Empire, Free Comic Book Day, ended up leaking out and it got a lot of people kind of ticked off, as is, you know, par for the course for this event that I think a lot of people are blowing out of proportion. I'll definitely be sure to cover this one uh, when we're done. Next, we're heading on out to Worlds Collide. Uh, there was a fan who actually really wanted to meet me there, so I'm hoping we can actually uh, get to see Daniel. And in case I don't see you, Daniel, you got a shout out in the video, so there you go. So we just got back from Worlds Collide, always a pleasure, great store, great atmosphere, great, you know, employees and everything. A lot of people look to be having a lot of fun. We just kind of missed the fans who wanted to meet me on Twitter. Sorry, Daniel. Sorry, I didn't get to meet you. And I know there was another guy. Sorry about that. Maybe next year, maybe I should do something a little bit more official and a little less impromptu. Uh, Devin, who was driving me, he made off like a bandit. You got some good comics, didn't you? Hey, hand of Devin. You got some what? You got like some Attack on Titan. You got some Rick and Morty. You were thinking outside the box, man, weren't you? Yeah, I got uh, Attack on Titan, Rick and Morty, the uh, Secret Empire. Uh, and a couple ones that I hadn't seen before. Uh, yeah, actually bring out the bag. Let's actually see what we got going on. So, Joel, you picked up X-Men, Astonishing X-Men. Oh, did I really? Oh, uh, nope. Oh, that's oh, that's the back of the Secret Empire preview. See, I'm a, I'm a good comic book guy who wants to stay up to date on what's coming out, so I grabbed an actual preview book. These are, these are great if you want to stay up to date on stuff. When comics become your job and not just your passion. <laughs> Then you also picked up, you picked up Guardians of the Galaxy. Not because I necessarily wanted Guardians, but because I wanted the Defenders that was actually in the back of that. I wanted to check out what Defenders is all about. We, we're actually a little tired. We got a late start to the day because we saw the late show of <laughs> Guardians Volume 2. So many people talked about how great I Hate Fairyland is, and a lot of people were talking about how great I Hate Images. Of course, I'm a big lover of Southern Bastards, and I think Jason Aaron has a thing in that one, so I want to check that one out. Yo, big shout out to Valiant, man. 
They've been very good to me over the years. The one comic company I actually got to visit their offices to. So hey, good for them. Breed more Valiant. And these are the ones I picked up here. This one looked a little interesting. Uh, don't know anything about it, so I'm gonna read it. It's... That's that's what Free Comic Book Day is all about, man. Mm -hmm. Trying shit out, getting people into stores who don't normally go to stores. That's the whole point of it. Had to pick up Captain Canuck. Ah, of course. The, the comic <laughs> everyone on the weekly poll assumes that I write and draw as the one Canadian they know. And I, of course, have told them no opposite. Of course, Secret uh, Empire as well. People are mad. I don't know why. It's a good, interesting story. <laughs> And it's going to be changed at the end of it. So, of all the flavors of the world, you chose to be salty. Not saying you can't have an opinion, I'm just saying I like different stories. So, I think Dev and I were going to get some lunch, right? Yeah. So, there you go, everyone. That was Free Comic Book Day 2017. Good stuff. Definitely would go again next year. <laughs> and, I mean, really, if you get no other moral of this video, go out and, you know, check out your local comic book store. Check out your brick and mortar they need your business now more than ever, it would seem. So go do that. Some really nice, awesome people there. Hey, everyone. So it's a day later. Some time has passed. I'm back at the old Cape compound. I've had a chance to actually read all the free comic book day comics that I got. I was going to make individual videos for all of these, but I said, you know what? Forget it. Let's make this vlog super special awesome, and I'll actually tack on what I thought at them of the end. Uh, I think probably the most surprising one I got this year was actually I Hate Image. Now I read my fair share of Image books, probably not as much as I should. I know they turn out some really great, really mature books for older readers. Everyone has been saying I need to read I Hate Fairyland. I've been sleeping on it, but I gotta say, man, if you were on the fence like I was, this will totally push you inside. It's the character from I Hate Fairyland going around and killing and or messing with all the different Image comic characters, and they're all in here. You got Spawn, you got the Savage Dragon. You know I was loving this one. Hey, let me find the exact page. She she messes with Jason Aaron and Jason Latour and totally kills uh, Coach Boss from Southern Bastards, of which I am a massive, massive fan of, which even says, you know, Craw County is scarier than any place in Fairyland. That's good stuff, and I'm a big fan of when writers and artists put themselves in the comics. So Jason Aaron and Jason Latour get themselves killed. That, that was a good one. I liked that one. Uh... Another one, as I mentioned before, was not so much interested in the Guardian side of this comic, but I was totally, totally interested in the Defenders aspect of it. The book looks really awesome. Bendis is in top form on this one, as he normally is when he starts a book. It's if he stays in top form, is the thing. that The big crux of that story, as it is, is that, you know... Uh, the Heroes for Hire have joined forces with Daredevil to take out a new uh, up-and-coming crime ring that wants to fill the void of Kingpin, who they say has gone more legitimate. A nice little bit of continuity with the main Kingpin uh, book that's going on right now. And it all goes bad. An old villain who you may know from the Netflix series ends up returning and makes life difficult for everyone. So yeah, I was excited for The Defenders. I'm still excited for The Defenders. Can't wait for that one. Uh, went outside my comfort zone a little bit and got some Valiant. The Valiant guys have always been super awesome to me. I actually got to go to the Valiant offices in New York. That was great. And they really do free comic book day books well. It's essentially just a vertical slice of like, hey, you want to know what's going on in the universe? Pick up one of these and you'll know. I know on the poll, Tiff was singing the praises of this new Exo Man War. It's a fresh start. I think it's only like two or three issues in. I could be wrong. And he's old now. He's old as hell, but you know, still absolutely tough and you know wrecking stuff and it's not just exo you also get some stuff here in the back you get a little bloodshot bloodshot i probably read the most of i read that on my way down to new york i actually uh, read a whole bunch of that so yeah if you're a fan of valiant and i know many of you are out there i don't think you'll be disappointed by exo uh, something more comedic, I got my fix of Rick and Morty, and this is a great value and a great bang for your non-buck because it's free. It's essentially a reprinting, more or less, of the first issue of the Rick and Morty series to really kind of get you in there, and it does a good job. Uh, it feels just like the show because the writers have to actually get clearance from Royland and Harmon to do these. There's a, there's a great character they introduce here called Dr. Clock, who is obviously a parody of all the Doctor Whos that have ever existed, and I think it's really, really cool. Another awesome thing about how the Rick and Morty comic works, they're all standalone stories, but they feed into a bigger narrative, so you can just pick up one, you can enjoy it. It's, it's the first issue 
of the first series and you also get some little stuff in there like you get some stuff for Pocket Mortys and you get some stuff from the Summer Mr. Poopy Butthole series of which they also did. So that's, that's a great value. That's just a good time. And then of course we come to the last one, the one I'm sure everyone wanted me to talk about. Secret Empire, the big free comic book day thing. As I assumed it was from reading Secret Empire number one, it is a straight up continuation of the Zero issue. It's the heroes rushing to DC to try and defend it, only to get royally defeated by Steve and the agents of Hydra. They lose, they lose bad, but what's kind of interesting about it, you know, outside the absolutely beautiful Sorrentino artwork, that went into this issue, you know, it's Black Widow and it's Hawkeye trying to come to terms with the fact that, you know, their best friend is now their worst enemy. He knows their names, he knows their tactics, he knows their powers, and he knows how to defeat them one by one. It's, you know, it's very dark, it's very dour, and of course it ends with the bit that already got spoiled online, the bit that uh, freaked everybody out. And that is Hydra Cap holding the hammer. Now Nick Spencer did some interviews and he said Hydra Cap holding up the hammer is really a big crux of how Hydra was able to take over the world because even if you are not in the superhero community, you know only those who are worthy can raise the hammer. And so that granted legitimacy to this new evil Hydra government. They don't explain how he does it. Of course they don't. It's a free comic book day comic. They want you to read the main event. I think this is to get people who have only kind of been tangentially aware of what's been going on with Cap and what's been going on in Marvel to see that last image and go like, oh man, I gotta catch up now. How did that happen? I mean, I'm already in and I want to know what happened. I got a couple theories on it. I mean, perhaps it's one of those situations where the hammer responds to you if you're pure good or pure evil but doesn't make a distinction or that Cap is so brainwashed he believes he's doing right even when we all know he's doing wrong or even they could, you know, maybe go over to what Jason Aaron's doing currently in the Thor book about the hammer being sentient. Maybe the hammer's being blackmailed. Wouldn't that be something? What if the Hydra government had something on a hammer? And then the other big part of this, of course, is you get a little taste of Chip Zdarsky's new Spider-Man in the back of this, too. It's fun. It's cool. He fights the Vulture. It's almost like the Vulture's going to be in a new movie or something, so they want to make him a prominent character again. But by far, the show stealer is the new Trapster. There's a new woman Trapster who gets the best of both Adrian Toomes and Spider-Man. Trapster, of course, being an incredibly lame Fantastic Four villain who used to go by the name Paste Pot Pete. His name was so bad he had to change it to a name that was still bad, but just a little bit better. But yeah, uh, I have high hopes for Spider-Man in the future. That's going to be good. So I guess with that, everyone, I can officially bring to a close my comic book day, free comic book day, I should mention, uh, free comic book day video for 2017. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were all able to make it out to your own stores in your area, support your brick and mortars. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I like doing these fun little vlog things. I like doing these travel log things. It gets me, you know, out of my own uh, personal YouTubing comfort zone. So uh, until next year, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again later. Bye-bye.